In today's video, we are going to look at top 10 and powerful operators in the new season Deep Freeze. Is it going to be different ops from last season? Of course, because now we have new operator that can change the meta completely. And we got so many different updates through last season. Some operators got buffed, some got nerfed. So let's see who do you have to pick in your rank games to higher up your chance of winning. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. The first attacker I'm going to mention is Finca. Last season she got buffed and got her nades back. Now it's true that nades are changed now and you can't cook them anymore, but still having grenades is a positive point. Apart from that, Finca is the only healer on attack. So from time to time, it is good to give yourself and your team extra heal to work with. You can pick up your down teammates, boost the whole team when the execute is about to happen, or give yourself the chance to clutch and win with 1 HP, because your enemy had to shoot you more bullets to kill you. Apart from those things, you have a decent gun, no recoil, good damage, the fire rate is not high, but gets the job done. And you also have 1.5, which you all love these days, so overall Finko has to be in your lineup and in the top 10. Now, first defender I'm going to mention is Doc. So now we have two healing operators in our list, and why not? Doc's Steam Pistol is way better than Thunderbird now and can make anyone with 1 HP back to full HP in just one second. Doc Kid is just amazing. You have barbed wire to slow down the attackers, you have bulletproof so you can swing based on the info you get, and you also have bailiffs so don't worry about making rotates. Or you can just make peak holds and feet holds. Plus, you have again 1.5 scope and MP5 is just a great gun, you can't deny that. The only downside to Doc is his speed, but come on man, he has everything you need as a defender, so I think he has to be in this list. Op 4 has located a bomb. Op 4, last operator standing. Second attacker you have to play more in Operation Deep Freeze is Gridlock. It's kinda sad that people were not picking her before and just as soon as she got grenades, people started playing her. She's truly one of the most underrated operators in Siege and has 4 tracks that can cover more area than Nomad as a flank watch. With Nomad, they might shoot your air jab with one bullet and you won't even hear anything. You might be thinking how? Well, I made this mistake, I've seen others make that mistake, but when you place your Nomad air jab low on the staircase, they can shoot it. Same goes for doors or windows. But with Gridlock, there's no way they can pass your traps. They either have to go through it, which gives them damage, they have to impact it, which makes sound, or they have to punch it, and that takes time and also makes sound. Now, I was just talking about her gadget. You have a shotgun to open up soft walls or play vertical, and you have two nades. Something people don't take seriously is that she can tank more bullets because she's 3 armor. At the end, you can decide between LMG or her assault rifle, which both are really good. Moving on to operator number 4 and our second defender we have Tubarao. At first I thought this operator is useless but he's actually changing a lot of things and combining his gadget with other defenders is super powerful. At the same time he's countering a lot of attackers or just wasting a lot of time, such as heart breachers, and you can't counter it with EMPs. So having Tubarao on your lineup is definitely time wasting and can be game changing especially on maps like Clubhouse or Bank that have outside walls and hatches. They also gave him Maverick DMR which is fun just to have another DMR like Aruni on defense. And obviously you have 1.5 and higher scopes. If you can't play with DMRs then no worries, another easy gun to play and that's Walk MPX. But that doesn't have 1.5 scopes so up to you which one you wanna run. You can make rotates if you pick him but at least you have a C4. What do you guys think? Moving on to number 5 I wanna talk about Buck. Those of you who watched my last season video know that Buck was in this list and here's he again. Buck here just like dog has everything. You wanna open soft walls and floors? Go ahead. You want to open reinforced walls and hatches? Go ahead. Buck can do anything. I mean, even if you find yourself dealing with Bandit or Mute or Cade, you can just go below or above and shotgun it. Yes, it's definitely a bit harder than EMPs, but if you need one solo operator that can do everything, Buck is the guy. One of the good things about him that I like is being 2 speed 2 armor. So he's not slow and he's not 1 armor. Some people can't control the recoil of his gun, but come on, I think it's been like 4 seasons that Buck has absolutely no recoil, and it's considered one of the best guns in the game. High fire rate and damage and 1.5 scope. And I don't have to say it, the shotgun close range long range is lethal. Next defender and number 6 in the list is Kaid. I think Kaid is going to get played more this season. The main reason is because of Tubarao. All I'm thinking is that these two together can waste so much time and utility on so many different maps. Kaid Electroclaw is for sure harder to destroy, so you can hide it in so many places. Plus, you can trick hatches and more walls with him. He also has one of the best shotguns in the game, so you can get easy kills long range because you have 1.5. And basically, it's two shot or one shot if you shoot dead. And close range, obviously is better. Not to mention this shotgun is better for making rotate and smoke shotgun. You have so many bullets that you can even make holes for default plan and window jump hits. You also have a C4 so just imagine Kite with this great loadout and Tubaro on the other side, they can destroy the whole attacking team. 
Our fourth attacker is going to be Twitch. Yes, that's right. Number seven in the list is one of the attackers that don't get played much these days. But that's because people don't know how powerful she can be. Not gonna lie, but I love Twitch F2 and I was a Twitch man. But after the nerf, I didn't want to play her that much. But I realized what I was missing on. Her DMR is deadly. There's a reason why you see it in Pro League and why you should start using DMRs too. I feel like it's two shot no matter what. Other than that, her shock turn, especially these days with gadgets like Mira, Kai, Tubarao, Goyo, and so many others that you can shoot and destroy, is super useful. I mean, just look at this. I can be sneaky on bank and get rid of cams and mirror windows and Kate Electro Claw. Even if you can't do that, just getting rid of default cams in the map is huge. You won't realize it in lower elo, but in higher elo, when you play against good players, they will rely on cams. And you taking that away is a huge advantage. Plus you have smoke so you can use it for planting, but what other thing you can do is to smoke and drive your shock drone through it, so nobody can see it. Alright, let's talk about number 8, Solis. She has not been nerfed yet, and she's one of the most OP operators right now. First of all, she can be so good for solo queuing because of her ability, and two impacts because you don't need your randoms to make rotate for you. You have the ability to roam and never be scared of anyone having a drone on you. You can see operators like Lion, Blitz, Jackal, Finca, and so many others through walls. And the most important thing is denying plant from below or above. So maybe you want to keep one of your impacts in pocket. And what can I say more? She also has P90 which people think is terrible gun, but that high fire rate and 50 bullets can be helpful in so many situations. Here we are with the last attacker and defender in our list. Starting with attack, I have to mention Dukaibi. It's been evolved that Dukaibi is super annoying that she gets banned over Jackal. Her calls just make attacking so much easier since you can take control of map without any drones and with just audio. Something that ranked players rely on these days along with quick peeking. So bring Dukaibi and your life will be easier. It's not only that, just like Twitch DMR, your DMR is one of the most powerful guns on attack. And the SMG-12 or C-75 are both great secondaries in case you're in close range gunfights. That's not everything, you have access to flashbangs, smokes or EMP grenades. So not only you can be a roam clear, but you can also help your team with opening breach or smoking for plant. And last defender and operator in our top 10 list is a zombie. That's right, she has to be in top 10 because ever since her release, she's been game changing with all the new angles you can create, all the new positions you can play at that was not possible before, and how time wasting or annoying she can be for attackers. I said Solis can be good for solo king, but Zomi can be even better because you're also helping your team with blocking important angles or just making attackers use utility to deal with you. Apart from that, you have impact, so you can make your own rotate, and both of your guns are actually good. I've seen people play the shotgun, which is like one shot or two shot, and it's easier to make rotates. And I've seen so many play the SMG just like I do. And that's it for today's video everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure to definitely play these operators in your rank games because they for sure make winning easier. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and until the next one, stay safe.